In the South Bay, it was every neighborhood for itself after city crews were just too overwhelmed to help them. Neighbors banded together, saving a house from disaster, and they did it all themselves. NBC Bay Area's Stephanie Magallon joins us live from that San Jose neighborhood. Stephanie. Just everything you see around me that you can see here is actually part of a massive tree that was leaning over toward this house here. And it's just one of several scenes left behind by the storm throughout the South Bay. It's a mess. Branches and fallen trees everywhere. Smashing cars, homes, or in some cases, both throughout the South Bay. In San Jose, a neighborhood on Rosswood Drive came together Monday night as they saw a tittering tree inching closer and closer to this home. Someone came into the uh, side gate and said, there's a tree out front that's going to fall on your house any minute. So I got up and got out of the house and haven't been back. Julia Sandelman says she was working from a room she rents here when she heard the fierce winds and saw this tree swaying like never before. Also inside the house was the owner's son who was sleeping in the room right beneath the tree. It was uh, fortunately a disaster, a tragedy that uh, did not happen. As soon as she got home, Sandy says she called the city, who she says placed her on a wait list due to the overwhelming number of calls they've been receiving. So she and neighbors took matters into their own hands, calling crane and tree companies. I'm paying thousands of dollars, many thousands of dollars out of pocket today uh, for the tree service to come and, uh, you know, do emergency tree removal. You but it's a city tree. Then there's outages, thousands in the dark across the South Bay. I was on a call with a customer and all of a sudden the power went out and I go, oh, oh. Families like Darren's are trying to make do with flashlights, but it's been tough dealing with this and working from home. I would go to my mom's who lives about five miles away, but her power is out too. A chaos that according to PG&E may take a while to get fixed. Apart from the wild winds, the family here believes that the city's new sidewalks had a lot to do with what happened here. They say that crews had to cut off huge chunks of roots off of these trees, making them weak for storms like the last two that we just saw. Live in San Jose, I'm Stephanie Magallon, NBC Bay Area News. Okay.